Hi, welcome to my channel. This is Kausal Vice and this is the continuation video of depreciation accounting. You can find the playlist link in the description box to get the full collections. Now in this video, we are going to see the second one that is a straight line method when there is more than one machine. Now let's get into the video. See the problem. A second hand machine was purchased on 1st January 2018 for rupees 25,000 and repair charges amounted to rupees 5,000. It was installed at a cost of rupees 2000. Okay. Now just find out the total cost 25,000 plus repair charges plus installation charges. So total how much? 32,000 is the actual cost of the asset. On 1st July 2019, the first machine purchased on 2018. Another machine purchased on 2019, 1st July. Another machine was purchased for 26,000. On 1st July 2020, that is next year, the first machine was sold for 20,000. So, first machine how much? 32,000. No, that machine sold for 20,000. On the same day, when? On 1st July 2020. On the same day, one more machine was bought for rupees 25,000. This one is third machine. On 31st December 2020, the machine bought on 1st July 2019, that is second machine, was sold for rupees 23,000. Accounts are closed every year on 31st December. So every year on 31st December, we have to calculate depreciation. Okay. The depreciation is written off at 10% per annum. Okay. So here, the method of depreciation is not mentioned. In that case, you can apply the straight line method. Okay. Prepare machinery account for 3 years ending 31st December 2020. Now we are going to see how to prepare machinery account for this particular scenario. See the solution. Machinery account, debit side, credit side. Date, particulars amount, date, particulars amount. Okay. See the problem. On 1st January 2018, machine purchased for 32,000. That is 25 plus repair charges 5,000 plus insulation charges 2,000. Total 32,000. So, entry, machinery account data to bank on 1 1 2018. Okay, how much total cost? 25,000 plus repair charges 5,000 plus the installation charges 2,000. So, total 32,000. Now, we need to calculate depreciation at the end of the year. See the problem? Accounts are closed every year on 31st December. Okay. So, first year, 31st December 2018 by depreciation. What is the rate of depreciation? 10 percentage, no. Okay. So, this one is straight line method. We have to consider the original cost. 32,000 into 10 percentage. For the full year, 3,200. Now, you can get the total. First year, close the account, 32,000, 32,000, balancing figure, 28,800, okay. So, by balance, by balance carried on on the same day. So, this will be the opening balance for the next year, okay. On 1st January 2019, to balance, brought down, how much? 28,800. Okay. Now, during 2019, just see the problem. Is there any other transaction? See the problem. On 1st July 2019, another machine was purchased for 26,000. So, we have to make entry in the machinery account on 1st July 2019. 1st July 2019 to bank. This one is second machine. The previous one is first machine. Okay. So, how much? 26,000. Now, just see any other transaction during 2019. 2019, another machine was purchased for 26. That's all. This is the next year transaction. Okay. Now, come to the end of the year. On 31st December 2019, we have to calculate depreciation for two machines. For the first machine, 32,000. No. 32,000 into 10 percentage for the second machine 26,000 no. So, 26,000 into 10 by 100 
into six months because this nation purchased on 1st July. No, from 1st July to till 31st December, six months only. So, how much depreciation? 3200 depreciation for the first mission and the second one 1300. Total depreciation 4500. Now, you can get the total to find out the balancing figure. 28,800 plus 26,000, 54,800, 54,800, balancing figure how much? 50,300, same date, by balance, carry down, this will be the opening balance for the next year, that is on 1-1-2020, to balance brought down, 50,300. Okay. See the problem. We have calculated depreciation for the first two years. Okay. On 1st July 2020, the first machine was sold for rupees 20,000. So, we have to calculate depreciation till the date of sale. Okay. On 1st July 2020, no. We have to calculate depreciation on this particular date for this particular machine. Okay. See the solution. See. Credit side. On 1st July 2020, we have to calculate depreciation for the first machine alone. So, what is the original cost? 32,000, no. So, 32,000 into 10 percentage into how many months? From 1st January to till 1st July, 6 months. So, what is the value? 1,600. Okay. And this machine sold for how much? See the problem. The machine sold for how much? 20,000. On the same day, by bank, this is the entry for sale of asset. Okay. Asset sold for 20,000. Now, we have to calculate whether the asset is sold for profit on sale or loss on sale. For that, you have to do one working note. See the calculation. The first machinery purchased on 1st January 2018 for 32,000. And we have calculated depreciation for the first year, second year and third year only 6 months. Okay, now we need to subtract this depreciation to find out the actual cost of machine as on the date of sales. Then we have to compare with the selling price to find out profit or loss. Okay, see the working note 1. Purchase price 32,000. First year depreciation 3,200. Balance 28,800. Second year depreciation on 19th, same 10 percentage on 32,000, 3,200, balance 25,600 on 1st July, third year, on 1st July only, no, on 1st July 2020, depreciation 10 percentage of 32,000 for 6 months only. So, how much? 1,600. Balance 24,000. So, this is the value that is a cost as on 1st July 2020. Okay, 24,000. Now, you can compare with the selling price. So, selling price how much? 20,000. No. So, 24,000 worth of asset sold for 20,000. So, balance 4,000 is profit or loss? Loss. Loss on sale of asset. This will be transferred to profit and loss account. So, enter the loss under credit side. On the same day, buy profit and loss account. How much? 4,000. You have to mention the loss within the bracket. So, loss on sale of machine 1, 4,000. Okay. Now, see the problem. We have done all the transaction for the first machinery. On the same day, that is on 1st July 2020, on the same day, one more machine was bought for rupees 25,000. This is the third machine. Okay. 25,000. Purchased on 1st July 2020. See the solution. On 1st July 2020, they purchased another machine. To bank, this is the third machine. How much? 25,000. Okay. Now, see the problem. We have entered this transaction. That is, one more machine was bought for 25,000 we have entered in the machinery account on 31st December 2020 that is same year on 31st December 2020 the machine bought on 
1st July 2019 that is second machine was sold for rupees 23,000. So now we have to calculate depreciation for second machine and we have to find out whether it is a profit on sale or loss on sale. Then we can calculate depreciation for the third machine. Okay. Now see the solution. See the solution in the same year, end of the year, second machine sold. Okay. So we have to calculate depreciation for that machine alone and we have to make entry for sales and we have to find out profit or loss on sale of asset. Okay. First charge depreciation for the second machine alone. So on 31st December 2020 by depreciation. This is for the second machine. Okay. So how much? What is the original cost of the machine? 26,000. No. So 26,000 into 10 percentage for the full year. How much? 2,600. And this machine sold for how much? See the problem. This machine sold for rupees 23,000. Same day by bank. Machine 2 sold. Okay. How much? 20. 3000 so we have charged depreciation for the second machine and we have made entry for sale of asset now we have to find out a profit or loss on sale for that you have to do the working note okay so for working note the machine purchased on 1st july and we have calculated depreciation for the first year and second year also we have calculated depreciation now we have to find out the cost of asset on the date of sales then we have to compare with the selling price to find out profit or loss. See the working note. See the second working note. Computation of profit or loss on sale of machine 2. The machine purchased on 1st July 2019 for 26,000. End of the first year, we have calculated depreciation for 6 months. From July to December, 1,300. So balancing figure. Again, we have calculated depreciation for the next year. Full year. From 19 to 20, full year. Depreciation. 2600 and this is the cost as on the date of sales and we have compared with the selling price so cost 22100 and selling price 23000 so what is the difference 900 rupees extra that is the profit on sale of asset this we have to transfer to profit and loss account and within the bracket you have to mention the profit okay see the solution here in the machinery account debit side we have to enter on 31st December, that is on the date of sale, we have calculated profit, right? So, to profit and loss account, within the bracket, you can mention profit on sale of machine 2. How much? 900 rupees. So, over. We have charged depreciation for the second machine and we have entered for the sales transaction and we have entered the result, that is profit on sale of asset that's all now we have only one machine that too we have purchased in the same year on 1st july 2020 now we have to calculate depreciation for this machine alone at the end of the year see the problem we have entered all the transactions in the machinery account now we have only one machine that is the third machine and we have to calculate depreciation for that machine alone see the solution on the same day by depreciation how much 25,000 into 10 percentage into how many months from 1st July to 31st December 6 months only 1,250 that's all now you can get the total to find out the balancing figure so debit side total 76,200 enter 76,200 balancing figure 23,750 Okay, on the same day. By balance, carry down. This will be the opening balance for the next year. On 1-1-2021, one, one, two balance brought down 23,750. Okay, so this is the way to prepare machinery account under straight line method if there is more than one machine. Okay, so you can find the playlist link in the description box for the entire collection. Hope you like this video. Please hit the like, comment, subscribe and share with your friends. Thank you.